Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tap repair video. In today's episode, we're going to be working on a MacBook Air uh, A2337. As you can see, that LCD is very badly damaged internally. Uh, very big lines. You actually only have one corner of the screen. That's good. Uh, but yeah, this unit, unit was very clearly mailed in for an LCD replacement. So let's go ahead and get into it. So of course, flipping the unit over, we're going to go ahead and remove all of the pentalobe screws holding the bottom case to the top case. All right, now we're gonna use a suction cup to take off this bottom case. And set it aside. So since this is an LCD swap, all we really have to worry about uh, is these connections down here as well as the battery connector. So we're gonna start with the battery, uh, just pulling down and towards ourself uh, on this little retention bar to get it over the clip. There we are. Now we can use that same bar to pull and disconnect the battery. I uh, just pull it away, make sure it doesn't contact anything. Reason why we always do this is you don't wanna damage or corrupt any data, turn the unit on or damage anything such as your new LCD when you're putting it on. All right, so I usually like to work outside in, meaning I'm gonna start with the three uh, on each side, T8s that hold the LCD to the top case. And now we're gonna to switch to a T5 screwdriver and remove uh, these four silver screws that hold in the Wi-Fi vent module and the two screws, two black screws in the center that hold the LCD bungee in place. And using a plastic spudger, we're now gonna go ahead and disconnect the LCD. We're gonna grab that T3 screwdriver again, remove this bracket and screw here that hold the Wi-Fi antenna cables to the, LC sorry, the logic board. All right. So the first thing we have to do is actually peel this Wi-Fi vent module that's glued down to the top case. Uh, it's gonna feel a little uncomfortable. Uh, definitely make you a little uneasy if it's the first time you've done it. Uh, before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect and make sure the LCD bungee is free floating so it doesn't damage that. Even though this is a bad LCD, we still don't want to hurt anything. I'm gonna flip this around here and I'm gonna start prying up on either end of this guy. All right, so since this one's really glued in there, I'm actually just gonna open the unit and see if the hinges help me pop that Wi-Fi vent module off. Felt like it did, perfect. All right, so we're gonna hold these hinges in order to close them or else you will uh, damage either, either and or the top case or the LCD. Here we go. All right, let me get under there with a pry. There we are. Yeah, that adhesive was really on there. There we go. All right, we're gonna set that Wi-Fi vent module aside. We're gonna continue opening the unit. And then we're just gonna pull our top case off. This is our bad LCD. We're now gonna set this aside and keep our top case nearby. All right, so we've got our brand new LCD here. We're gonna go ahead and unbox. Uh, but if you guys are looking for any parts or tools you see in the video, check us out at techdep.com. If you guys are interested in a mail-in repair similar to what you're seeing today or an advanced data recovery, uh, go ahead and email us at support at techdep.com. We do it all every day. Alrighty, and what I did there was open up the hinges uh, just to make it easier to install. So we're gonna lay our LCD flat, make sure we get our bungee in here, which is easy on this unit. We're gonna go ahead and act like we're opening up the unit and that's gonna pop the hinges into place as you heard there. Now we're gonna hold them and close them just as we did when we were getting the Wi-Fi vent module out. There we are. So the very first thing I like to do once I get my new LCD in place is screw in at least one or two T8s just to make sure 
Uh, it's not going to fall off the table and damage itself or anything like that. So we're just going to go ahead and secure this right now. All right, the very next step we're gonna do is taking our Wi-Fi vent module, making sure we feed the LCD bungee through. And you want this LCD display connector right here to be on the outside, not on the inside. Now we're gonna grab the very long T5s and I'm gonna work outward in again. We're going to go ahead and plug in our LCD display connector as well as our Wi Fi antennas. And we're going to secure those into place using the respective brackets and T3 screws. Now we're going to go ahead and reconnect our battery. And clip it down. Place our top, sorry, bottom case back on our top case. And take our pentalobe screws and thread them into place. I do note that the longest ones are at the top and the rest of the screws go around the unit. Uh, they're all the same size. Right now all that's left to do is turn the unit over, give it power, and make sure that new LCD works. Alright, so we've got our charger here, we're going to go ahead and plug it in, open it up, give it a second to realize it's char- oh, never mind, it already turned on. Thank you guys for watching, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdep.com or click the link below for mail-in repairs. We'll see you guys in the next episode.